Hello, my name is Dr. Nishson Walker, and in this segment, I want to talk about difference between intelligent tutors and adaptive learning systems, which is my favorite topic. So let's talk about uh, intelligent tutors. In 1980s, uh, in that decade, there was an upsurge of uh, artificial intelligence. Most of these uh, learning tutors were created during that time. And they were created based on rule-based expert systems. And these rule-based expert systems were based on understanding of the knowledge paradigm. And that's why they were domain-specific. So let's say if you were trying to create a math tutor, then the domain was mathematics. And then there were very set rules for that domain based on the expert understanding. So the expert knowledge was converted into a set of rules which you have to follow to understand a subject matter. And then you were put into this uh, intelligent tutor and tutor would pose certain uh, scenarios and based on your answer, certain rules were fired. And then uh, if certain rules, if then else conditions were met, then you were given a different response. And if it is not, then different response was given. So by firing hundreds of if then else rules, eventually, a learner was provided sufficient knowledge by sending him through various knowledge representations until he or she is able to understand that subject matter, hopefully with this intelligent tutor. Now, the problem with intelligent tutors uh, or intelligent system at that time or expert system or AI was they were very domain specific. So they would work fantastically for a particular domain, but as soon as you change the domain, the rules would change and that uh, intelligent system would not work. And I think uh, similar things were done in other intelligent system of that time, which were neural network system and there were some also other algorithms, genetic algorithms, etc. In adaptive learning system, in contrast, which I want to make uh, sure we all understand, the idea here is to provide cognitive opportunity by presenting content in different pedagogical frameworks. So when a learner is going through a particular inquiry in this kind of system, and there is, there is a expert system in it as well, in this model, uh, when you are learning a subject matter with one learning strategy, let's say apprentice, uh, where you are given content in a step-by-step -step fashion, and you do not understand that subject matter, which becomes apparent by a diagnostic simple test, then the feedback is given in a different learning strategy. So now you have a different cognitive opportunity where now the same subject matter is presented in an example way. So now you say uh, is a, a learner has more opportunity to go through different pedagogical frameworks where the content and the subject matter is presented in a different cognitive learning strategy and style. And once you rotate through those learning strategy and style, the sum total is your knowledge gained about the subject matter. Now the difference in this case is that the intelligence lies into the framework which is the statistically driven framework or statistical inference framework where when you are going through different learning pathways a statistics is collected on your trajectory and your performance so when we compare your trajectory from apprentice to incidental to inductive to deductive to discovery now we are able to find out which learning strategy works best for you so in this case, unlike artificial intelligence or tutors, intelligent tutors, where the rules are very fixed, and if you do not abide by their rules, then you, the, the expert system fails. In this case, it's an open-ended. It's based on the statistical evidence. So what happens when you are going into a deterministic subject matter like physics, chemistry, biology, where the answers are determined and they are specific deterministic answers, the expert system worked very well. But when you went to a, an a arena like poetry and design, where there's no correct answer, then there was there was very hard problem of creating rule system. While in statistical models or statistical inference engine, which are attached with the adaptive learning system uh, that we propose here, uh, there it's not necessary that you have to have a deterministic domain. Even when you try to teach Shakespeare, 
uh, in that case you can still use adaptive system because Shakespeare can be taught in a five different way. And when it is taught in each different perspective on Shakespeare, then while going through this uh, intelligent system, the statistics will show which learning methodology or strategy is working for you to learn, uh, learn Shakespeare. So I think this is where the difference comes between intelligent tutors, which are domain specific, and adaptive learning system, which are non-domain specific, and they are much more, again, as I say, holistic in nature to understand a learner behavior based on the statistical inference. And in that case, not only you can vary learning strategy, but you can also vary the intelligent feedback which is given at every level. And that's why uh, there's distinctly difference between intelligent tutors and uh, brain-based adaptive learning systems. Thank you.